In this lesson, I want to talk about uh, the chord voicing in So What. This is known as the So What chord. I'm on the fifth fret. Okay. Root. That's the fourth. That's the minor seventh. Minor third. And fifth. It's a chord in fourths with a third on top. Okay, these are all perfect fourths. Okay, so in the tune. We do the so what chord. Like that, on the seventh fret to the fifth fret. Okay? Uh, you can also, you can call this chord a... Basically, it's a minor 7, add 4, add 11, minor 11, okay? I want to talk about uh, using this as a chord voicing, not just for a minor 7th chord, but uh, how to run it up the entire scale, all right? So I'm going to play D Dorian, starting on the 3rd fret of the B string, and I'm going to add chords underneath it, all built in the same way as the so what chord. Alright, so we have... Alright, let me do that one more time. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. It's fret 15. Okay, now I'm going to add so what chords underneath it, but I'm not going to use the top string. Okay? B minor 11. Stacking fourths, B, E, A, D, those are all in the Dorian scale. They're all diatonic fourths. Now we're going to move up to the next chord. These notes are all in the scale. They're all white notes on the piano. C, F, B, E, this time, they're not all diatonic fourths. Or they're all diatonic fourths, but they are not perfect fourths. This is a tritone here, which is also known as an, an augmented fourth. Okay, next chord. That's our minor 11. And now we can add this top note, because it's in the scale. Another minor 11. It's the so what chord. Now, here's an interesting one. Okay, this is a major 7 chord with a flat 5th. F, B, E, A. Okay, next chord. This is an interesting one. This is a dominant 7th chord. Add 4. G, C, F, B. It's very dissonant. It's sort of a dominant 7 sus. Now we have an A minor 11. I'm just borrowing the 12th fret. It's hard to play above the 12th fret on this guitar. And then we have above the octave another B minor 11. Okay? So, uh, you could use any one of those chords as a substitute for D minor 7 if you're in Dorian. So, for the tune. put it in a 2-5. Okay. If you're gonna comp through so what, you'd also have to practice all these voicings. Here's the E flat minor not or flat minor eleven. Okay, so I you might want to start it here. Okay. Actually, or, or you could start it here, which is the E flat Dorian. 
Okay. Okay, I should also mention that you can do these voicings on the top four strings in case you don't want to play up here on your guitar. Uh, let me show you. Alright, we'll start there. And now we can finally move to here. Okay, open, open, one, one. Okay, that's an E minor 11, F major 7 major 7 with the flat 5. Uh, some of these voicings you can add bass notes to create an interesting chord. That is a G dominant chord with a uh, 13th and 9th. Okay, uh, moving on to this chord. That's that dominant sus I was talking about. A minor 11, B minor 11, What is that chord called? It's a major 7, just add 4. Alright, and then we've gone back up the octave. Alright, those are just some interesting voicings to throw in your playing. If you're getting bored with your... Uh... perfect spot to use it.